Hey guys, it's Laura, and today we're going to be finding our center. We're going to be working the core muscles. So let's start on our hands and knees and warm up through the lower back, the hips, and the abs. Spread your fingers about just to distribute the weight through the wrists, right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and let's warm up with a cat cow. So really tuck your hips under, drop your chin, and then either go to a neutral spine or arch your low back. So breathing through the movement. Take your time. It should feel good. A strong core creates balance and stability through the whole body and it protects it from injury and pain um, in our normal everyday movement. So just like when we focus on centering in the present moment, we find a sense of inner stability, emotional balance, and calmness. So keep breathing through that. And if you can, as you start to warm up, find a bigger range of motion, really tucking those hips under. How do you feel? Do you feel like you're getting warmed up? So I'd like for you to take a big inhale and exhale any thoughts or worries that are distracting you from this moment. Focus on your breath and engaging your core the muscles of your core and your center of attention to right now. So go ahead and bring it down on one elbow. We'll be doing both. I want you to think of letting go of all the thoughts of the things that you need to get done during the day and stay present with me here in this moment. So take that elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Your bottom knee is on the floor and take that top leg out. Hand can be on the hip to start. And then you're gonna lift and hold that plank. So we're gonna start with the modified version of this first. So we're gonna reach. So you can hold that or you can lift and lower. So you can always hold that plank. You can have both knees down. We're always so busy going and doing and taking care of others, we always prioritize taking care of everyone else and often put ourselves last. So when we don't take the time to give ourselves a moment of recovery, rest, and reflection, that busyness often leaves us feeling depleted at the end of the day. So I really want you to think about how you're helping yourself right now. Just connecting with how you feel, Engaging those core muscles, strengthening the muscles that help your body just move better every day. Just a couple more. Good, one more. Okay, rest for a second. Okay, so you're still in that plank position. Feet together, knees together, and you're gonna open and then close. So a clamshell plank, lift, and lower. Now, of course, you can hold that plank. You can even put this hand down if this feels like too much pressure on that shoulder. How are you feeling? Keep that navel engaged. Really lift up through the hips. Now, I'm not wearing shoes, but feel free to wear shoes if that works better for you. So we learn through consistency how to engage our muscles effectively and create a deeper connection between our mind and our bodies. So really think about how you're feeling. You should feel the oblique, the hips of both legs. You may feel the shoulder and that's okay. All right, let's go to the other side and repeat these motions. So just flip. So we're gonna go to that first plank, side plank. So lift, extend, and lift and lower. So exercise isn't just about self-improvement. It's also about self-acceptance. So to love where you are right now, every step of the journey you're on is so important. 
Uh, we often are in such a hurry to reach our goal that we d miss all the important lessons that that process along the way can teach us. I work with clients online and they're always so anxious, which is understandable, <laughs> to get to their end goal that sometimes they don't see all the things that they're learning, all the progress they're making. Good, really lift up. Now remember, you can just hold this side plank. So sometimes it helps just to take a moment and pause where you are right now. Go ahead and drop that. Okay, go to that clamshell plank. How do you feel? All right, come up and then open and close. So I want you to think about when you're working toward your goal, whatever that goal may be, what can you do each day to learn from the process along the way? Remember, it's all about the steps, all of those little things that add up to that end goal. There's so many lessons that can be learned along the way. You learn how strong you are, how resilient you are. There's a lot of knowledge to be gained there. Good, one more, really open up, feel the hips. Good, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna go back to hands and knees. Just remember failures are gonna happen along the way. They happen to everyone, but it's part of the process and you can learn so much from those setbacks when they happen. No, they happen to all of us. I mean, our bodies, our muscles respond to failure by building stronger. So. Instead of looking at a failure as, oh no, I didn't do it perfectly, I should give up. Look at it as it's just part of the process. So right now we're gonna do an alternating lateral bird dog. So I'll turn so you can see me a little bit better. So I'm gonna go out and then switch sides. So I'm looking up at you, but keep your neck long, meaning keep that neck in line with the rest of your spine. So when things, setbacks do happen, failures happen, instead of thinking, why is this happening to me? Maybe look at it as, why is it happening for me? Because there's value in every moment. I know a lot of things have happened to me throughout my life, and there have been times that I thought, why is this happening to me? But when I try to learn something, and it's not always easy. I know it's easier said than done. But really take that moment, focus on the, where you are right now, all the progress you've made along the way. You're doing great. Keep the core engaged, working the muscles of the hips, the lower back, the chest, shoulders, and abs. Breathing, of course, you can probably hear me breathing. Okay, one more. And let's go into a full plank. Now, if you prefer to be on the elbows, feel free. Feel free to do that. It does make this exercise more challenging. So I'm gonna be on my hands. So you can hold the plank, you can be in a modified plank, or you can bring alternating knee to the elbow. So I don't want you to think about the things you need to be doing. I used to be the queen of napping when I was younger. I could nap like nobody's business. And now I get to that point where even on days when I'm really tired because I didn't sleep well, I can't nap because I'm thinking of all the things I should be doing. And then because I'm doing that, I can't nap so I'm tired and I can't get the things done that I need to do anyway. So sometimes we just need to give ourselves a little break. The multitasking mm, isn't always in our best interest, right? I know sometimes we don't have a choice. One more, perfect. All right, one more thing to do, one more block of movement, two movements, lay on your back. Okay, chin off your chest.
Just remember not to pull on the neck. Keep your chin off your chest. Look up at the ceiling the whole time and then circle with the torso. So we're gonna go one direction and then we'll go the other way. So keep the chin off the chest. You can even have your hands here, but if you need neck support, definitely take that. You're trying to get the shoulder blades off the floor. Okay, one more. How are you feeling? Go the other way. Don't judge yourself. Just do the best you can. Wherever you are is where you are. Good, just a couple more. You're almost done. I promise, one more. All right, last exercise. We're gonna come up into a crunch. We're gonna twist and then we're gonna come down. So we're gonna turn, turn. You'll see. <laughs> come up, up, turn, turn, and then down. Up, turn, turn, and then down. Remember, chin off your chest. Don't pull on your neck. It's not about turning your head. Squeeze tight. So we're trying to get the shoulder blades off the floor, but just do the best you can. And breathe. And come down two more. Last one. All right, bring yourself up to a seated position. How do you feel? Give yourself a little pat on the back. You did a great job. Remember, take time for yourself. Take that rest, recovery, take moments to reflect. So if you like this video, consider subscribing. Um, give it a thumbs up. Here's a great cardio video right here. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.